passion without action is delusion. And Tony made the statement today that success is 80% psychology and 20% mechanics. Great, great, Martin, unleash the power of Uh, I'm not walking on fire. <laughs> I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Sorry. Good. Hey. Hi, my name is Dominique. <laughs> no, I'm really excited, guys, but. Yeah, just take everything in, just take everything in that we learned today. It's gonna to be an amazing day. And anything that you don't feel for, feel free to walk out at any time. <laughs> for a second, for a second. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Let's be honest, has anyone actually watched anything of Tony? I watched it Andrea? yesterday. No, on the first time. Yesterday. Have you? No, I've watched loads of Tony. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, briefly. Yeah, briefly. Videos and books, yeah. yeah. I'm obsessed. Yeah, 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 yeah I know you. But yeah, but it's yeah, but you, but. Yeah, there, but you, but yeah. It's gonna be the experience of honestly a lifetime. Your, your life won't be the same. I'm surprised if some people like, yeah, I'm quitting my job tomorrow. So that's, that's what you that's do. What I do. That yeah. Yeah. You know what? You yeah. see, when I won the ticket, yeah. what's wrong? Remember, you were saying, you, uh, like, you won the ticket. Did I you won win the it? Ticket, yeah. And then yeah. she said, oh, you won a ticket. Because everybody yeah. was saying, I didn't want to go like, oh my god. So I was just like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. What you win ticket? You won tickets? Yeah. I don't know. He just like, invited me, so I got confused. In it, I was like, win ticket. In it. Was it a competition or? No. So you got it. Yeah. Same event. Yeah. Yeah. I and then know, I was next to the stage and I was yeah, like, yeah, I won it, but I was like, I'm not just going to jump. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, you can't you, you jump. I'm like, okay. Alright. Yeah. Be free on this date till this date. I'm joking. I'm like, okay, I'm a retail manager, I need to find time off work. Okay. If my sister invited me, I need to come in it. So I just booked the time off, I'll yeah. say that's cool. Whatever it is, I'll come and see you, yeah. Now you can try it. 12 to 12. 12 to 12. Maybe 12 to 2. <laughs> and there's no time when he says, Do you know what? You're going to have a break now. I'll say they're like, I've been here like eight hours. It goes so quick. Yeah. I mean, he's just giving you information, information, information. Like, for the first, even the first five minutes of the day, my life has already changed. Like, I was already like, What? In the first five minutes of the day. If it's anything like his book, then I can imagine. Yeah. So I'm reading his book and I saw your message. You want to come? I was like, Yeah. It's a little Yeah, nothing. Going, we're just no, Cassie. Do you know where you're going? Do you know where the empty seats are? Come on, 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 girl, go on, girl, go on, come on, come on, come on, I'm so happy that I'm beautiful. I'm totally beautiful. Jesus told you you're beautiful first. I know, but it's showing me. Once you what's prevented you from doing that already? What's prevented you? What limiting mood? Now, by the way, before he answers, I want to remind you something so you stay with me. We've answered three questions here today that are critical. What stops people? What's the only thing keeping him from getting what he wants? You should know already. What is it? Yeah. So we ought to find out what he's afraid of, but we know what it's for. He's afraid it's not enough. And he's not if he won't be loved. So now he's figured out, I'm not enough, and I never will be, because I don't like who I am. Which, by the way, 
He does like who he is. He's made up a story about who he is. He's beating himself up. Thinking if he beats himself up, he'll be more motivated to clear it up. But when you beat yourself up that much, you just have such low energy, you just accept life as being shit. Raise your hand if you follow that. Say, I. I. When you beat yourself up and you think you're being responsible, you're actually lowering your energy and it makes you stay stuck. If you raise the energy, even if you don't feel like it, you'll solve the fucking problem. What I did earlier when you were breathing in your heart was a subtle way of raising the energy. I did it softly. I had to think of things you're grateful for. I lifted your energy to a beautiful state by changing your focus. And then most of you knew the answer right away. When you're beating yourself up, you'll never find the answer. That's what he's doing. What he's doing here will not work. It'll only make it worse. Notice he said, I like who I am. He's a lot of things. So I say to him, which part do you not like? Is it God, man, tell me, man, we're here with Richard, man. Come on, man, tell me what's going on, my man. Shalom. My Come on, man, sister. Come on. Listen, man, we are Tony. Yeah. Like, the energy is, is crazy. Mm. You will be coming here, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. The mad things I'm locked in right now, I'm trying Come to, on. I know why I'm here. Like, you can't go to a situation, I don't know exactly your outcome. Yeah. Like, I know what my outcome is and I'm getting that here. So I'm so, I'm so happy to be consciously immersed in personal development, man. Like the moment you stop learning and who wants to learn from the best, so, you know? Come on, man, my man. My man, get back to your coffee or the subways, come and get we need, a break. we need a break. Too much info. <laughs> you want a bit of work for me? Yeah, man, my man. Kinda up close. Come on, we. <laughs> um, no, look, I think it's always important to um, take education as a lifelong journey. Yeah. We've always been told, you know, you get to certain barriers and then you go into the real world. Um, I'm afraid to tell you you've been, you've been lied to. Yeah. Yeah. The truth is, <laughs> don't, don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. <laughs> don't do the truth really is, you don't ever stop learning. You're the smartest man in the room, you need to get out of that room. Yeah. Tony himself, when he talks and when he gives stories, it's all around people he's model, modeled himself around. Yeah. And you can see how he's transformed transformed his life from being immersed in what their excellency is and taking part of their excellency to make him the best yeah. version of himself. Yeah. Um, and that's something I'm going to take away from this weekend. Do you know I'm coming? Come on, Big up Beast. Beast. I'm good. I'm good. Your chips is looking awesome. But the chips is chips is done now. You cleared that out the way, yeah? I'm gonna come back for some findings. Like what you've got today. Yeah? Right. Yeah, buddy. Yo, How's it going? Good, man. Yeah, man. Really good two days, second good. day. And yeah, nice, been alright. It's been good, yeah? Come on, man. What's your biggest take? Uh, my first one will be obviously Tony Robbins. Yeah. Before, yeah. Like about a month ago, he started messaging me about this, and I'm like, one on one, and together, it's like things just happen. Come on, man. And then today, coming here, seeing him yesterday, I got my hand shaking. Yeah. The double over there. The double, boy, that, that one's like, official. Man, that's okay, <laughs> but no, it, it's his energy. Yeah. And everything he says is just, it's like from every sentence is full. Yeah. Based on that, you gotta listen. You can't. You miss something, you miss a lot. So wow. it's like, let me just stay here. We saying no breaks. When there's a break, you come run. You gotta run. Come on, man. You gotta run. <laughs> you know that. You, well, everything he's saying is important. So, but yeah, no, it's been a good two days. But well, I know for a fact the next two days is gonna be mad. Come on, man. It's gonna be mad. So, come on, man. Yeah, nice. No, it's been blessed. Man. Awesome. <laughs> You lose 
little chunk of time here. Yeah, I loved it. It's so inspirational, oh, so wow. uplifting. So cried, laughed, danced, everything. Awesome. So good. Awesome. What's your what would be your biggest take from My today? My biggest take from today. Yeah, today. Um, it was during the moment when we did kind of like the meditation of like seeing our future. Yeah. And it was the moment when I realized that everything is possible, but I just was in that stage of feeling that I'm not enough. Yeah. That I don't deserve it. The moment that he said like, you deserve it, that was yeah. my moment because I was like, you deserve it. Yeah. You can get it. If yeah. You deserve it. Awesome. So for me, it was like, I thought I'm not, I don't deserve it. I was thinking that my past, yeah. that the legacy, that everything that everyone in my family has done is uh -huh. a smart that uh -huh. them failing is gonna be me failing. Come on, man. So that was that was it. You're you. I'm myself. And you're gonna rock. Amen. You freaking rock, mate. Amen. Yeah, let's Amen. get it. Raise your hand if you agree with me that how you're doing in your professional life greatly dictates how you're gonna be doing in your personal life. Say ah, oh, meaning the money that you're making. Say ah. Oh. And the reality is, there's only three. And by the way. We live in some extraordinary times right now, we truly do. In my country, it's crazy, isn't it? Yes? But it's all over the world. Here's what I want you to understand. We have never been in a more extraordinary time than we are right now. On one side, there's never been more pain. But on the other side, there's never been more opportunity. It's open, it's, it's wide open for anyone. When I saw how many of you raise your hand and have your business, that is a clear-cut sign of the changing of times. It truly is that you have the opportunity. You couldn't do that 20 years ago. You wouldn't have that many people. We've been doing this for 30 years. And 20 years ago, it's just a handful of people. But now, because of the internet, because of all different ways of marketing and so on and so forth, you're able to do that. But I want you to understand, you must keep training. You must. Remember what I said before about what Tony, when his, when his uncle said that? Seminars, workshops, whether it's with us or somebody else, you must keep training. Find something that's going to help you get where you want to go. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, what did I get out of today? No. Not just today. Okay, what have I got so far? Um, that affirmations without action is delusion. Like, literally, like, if you're... It's like, it's like going into a garden, basically, and being like, no more weeds, no more weeds, but not plucking the weeds. Like, it doesn't really make sense. So, it's the same thing of the Bible says about faith, or about works, or dead faith. It's like, affirmations, like being like, oh, I'm going to be earning 100k, yeah, I'm going to be earning 10k, yeah, I'm going to be doing this. That doesn't really make a difference. That does, that's not what's going to make it actually happen. That's just being delusional. But being like, I'm going to get 100k, yeah, and then working towards your goal, and using your gifting, and flowing it in your gift and obviously that way of course you can reach wherever goals and you can affirm those things into your life so I learned that affirmation without action is delusion because cycling is 80% mental 20% physical yeah, my arms tight bear with me yeah it's 80% mental 20% physical yeah and when you made that statement I'm like I'm panting I'm sweating I'm suffering I'm pretty sure it's a hundred percent physical. You know, it's got to do with the whole. <laughs> it's got to do with the old body, yeah. But he's like, no, it's more the mind than the body. And Tony made the statement today that success is eighty percent psychology and twenty percent mechanics. And I just think that's so true. You know, um, the biggest barrier between us and where we want to be and where we need to be and where we know we should be is our mind because you do not get what you think you deserve you get results from a place of who you are or who you see yourself to be so fair enough I may have goals that are great but if I don't see myself to be great and having a great capacity and knowing that my outcome should be great and my situation should be great because I am I'm not gonna attain those things. So it's not so much just, you know, the mechanics of, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put one foot in front of the next. You have to really internally digest something. You have to really have a mindset shift. You have to really have a psychology change. Yeah, so a man think of he is Bible sitting first, yeah? <laughs> Oh.
over here. Yeah. Normally, where we're from, uh -huh. mad cynical, mad skeptical. You hear about these things, everyone's smiling, grinning teeth for no necessary reason. <laughs> you almost think it's too good to be true. But being here, I find it belied to you, it's actually worth it. Oh, In man. terms of a lot of the stuff that he will speak on, yeah. is stuff you've already really heard before. But probably the most powerful thing is you're around other people mm. who have the same mindset, you also want to change. Yeah. And probably the biggest thing I learned about the Tony Robbins thing so far is just about how important your state of mind is. And I think Tony's reminded me that even though it's the beginning of my journey, he's made me he's made me realise I'm proud of myself. Come on. Because it's hard to kind of be a speaker when everyone's kind of pressuring you to do this, do that. But he's made me realise that I've I've done something. I've come yeah. far, I've stepped into what I want to do. Yeah. And Locked in, unleash the power within. <laughs>